I just want to say something real quick. Because I know I'll probably forget it. Larry got scarred and now he'll never be able to touch anyone again. And he hasn't been able to touch anyone for 60 years because of his radiation. Rita is now barely able to control her powers, but she's been getting better at it. And, um, it cost her a lot of her acting career, which is what she really wouldn't do. Cliff lost 30 years of being able to spend time with his daughter. And now he's going to miss her wedding. And then, um, all Jane got was, um, her multiple personality disorder worsened. But she can't even sympathize with Cliff. It makes zero sense. All of these characters got put through so much shit. And then when Cliff's like, hey, I'm not going to forgive him. She just doesn't understand why. And, um, I did like that actual different characters interacted in this. Because last season it was just like, hey, here's Jane and Cliff. And, hey, here's Rita and Larry. This one actually had, um, Cliff and, um, not Cliff. He didn't really hang out with anyone. They actually had, um, Jane and Larry hang out in two different episodes. Though not too much happens. But we got to see more of them actually, you know, talking to each other. Then we got a little bit of Rita and Cliff, but not too much. Because Cliff was more focusing on, um, you know, finding Clara or insulting Chief, at least in the first few episodes. Dorothy was kind of a cool character. Though I still think they kind of skimmed over the fact that she murdered somebody. She just kills Baby Doll. And, um, they just kind of skim over it. And the fact that they don't even know what really happened to Jane later. Because, um, they go to space to retrieve Dorothy, right? And Doom Patrol, um, Robot Man is worried about Jane and he's like hey what the fuck happened to her she's in a coma you need to fix this about tw like 10 or 10 minutes later or something after they get back on the spaceship Cliff talks about how um baby doll and the other one was killed like you didn't even know that you thought she was in a coma how the hell do you suddenly now know that Two of her personalities were killed. How? You went from thinking she was in a coma to knowing that two of her personalities were killed. Zero sense. And what also makes zero sense is I'm now as Calder not realizing that it's six o'clock. You set up a date for your daughter to be killed. You have fun with her, and you don't, like, check the time every now and then. You know you're going to have to deal with it eventually, or the end of the world is going to come. But you somehow just forget what time it is, especially when it's already dark outside. What do you think it was? Three, three in the morning? And, um... They kind of skim over... The two astronauts, that was kind of dark what happened to them. But they're just like, bury them, never talk about them again. Then Miranda's plot twist, if you can call it that, was so predictable. And then uh, Jane literally calls her out in the episode. Makes her look suspicious. If we weren't even paying attention to Miranda and didn't give a fuck about her. Jane just made us care about her because she just made her a suspect. But she was, she was not slick. I knew she was going to betray the personalities. It, it was just so easy. And one thing, this is just something I would have liked to see. Is because Minto is a part of the Doom Patrol, but... In this show, they just 
make him be a part of Mr. Nobody's victims. I would have liked to see what his imaginary friend would have been if he had one. And I would have liked to see Jane's though. Since there's like 64 personalities, would they did the one she is right now? Or would she not have one since she, you know, she was busy with like 64 personalities? But yeah, that's about it.